Filters are a powerful tool to manipulate your data set. Let's walk through the basics in under three minutes. So how do you add a filter? You can go up here to home, sort and filter, filter, and that adds one. You can go to data, filter, and that adds a filter. Or the fastest way I've found is alt a T will add a filter to your data set. How do you remove a filter? So the same process, alt a T will clear your filter. Or if you go up here, data, and just click this filter option, it will remove a filter from your data set. So if I put this back on, what do we use filters for? They're for looking through your data set. So easiest way to do this may just be click and you can select 2020. If you just wanna look at 2022, just leave that selected. Or what you can also do is alt down arrow will let you toggle through this with your keyboard. And you can use spacebar to select the options you want or alt down arrow E will populate the search bar and you can put 2022 and very quickly filter through your file. If you go over to state, alt down arrow E California, it will only show you the values for California in your data set. Alt A C will clear all the filters from your selection. Say you wanted a very specific option and you did 2022, you wanted only apples in Oregon. And you just wanted to look at maybe this one rep. Alt A C will remove all of the different filters from your file. Where if you tried to do this manually, you'd have to go through each one and click clear filter, clear filter, which obviously takes a lot longer than clearing all the filters from your data set. You can also filter on numeric values. So this will show you all the different options and if you wanted to select just one of them you could do that but what you're probably going to want to do is maybe look at only values that are greater than and excel will show you only the cells that are greater than 5 million same with quantity if i clear the filter i can filter on all the values that are less than 40 and it will show me only the values that are less than 40. What can you do with this? First thing you can do is, is you could copy this data and paste it elsewhere. So if you wanted to paste it to the bottom, now you just have the subset of information that you were looking for. Very, very helpful to do. Say you wanted to color these rows a certain color, you could highlight them, you could put them as a specific color and then clear the filter. And now you have just specific rows that are colored, which I find to be a very, very efficient way for color coding your file.